Yeah. What, what do you see as the moral purpose of the United States in the way you mentioned it just now? Well, we've been the shining light of not only being a democracy ourselves and, you know, having political opponents respect each other and work well together, but also, you know, saying that even though we're in this very powerful position, we won't abuse that position. And, okay, if we allowed ourselves, you know, to let other people spend too little on some things, you know, there's there's a balance there. But if you become too much of a bully and you're not keeping democracy, which, you know, requires reducing the polarization uh, and bridging uh, some of these divides, it, that's a little bit scary. You know, democracy is a, a fragile concept, and particularly at a time when AI is coming along and the government will have to play a strong role in saying, okay, these jobs have been lost, but we're more productive overall, and therefore, here's how we help uh, those people. You know, how do we keep AI as a primarily beneficial thing versus a uh, thing that bad people use and it messes up these job markets? That, I expect the 2028 presidential debate, AI policies, will be the most important thing. And I was a little bit surprised in this election that wasn't uh, discussed hardly at all. Yeah, that's such a good point. I, di I didn't actually think of that, but you're right. It didn't, it didn't come up at all. Yeah, that's fascinating. Well, how, I mean, how do you prepare for something like that? It would need, need to be surrounded by the right people and having the parties. Well, you've got to educate everyone. You know, you can't count on the technologists to shape these things. You know, s social networking, we're still arguing about what the policy should be and, you know, the fact that algorithms reward outrageous things that, even if they're not at all factual, and AI heightens all of that. And, you know, there's an era where getting the politicians to see the technology, including all this good stuff, personal tutors, better medical care, even making the government more efficient. You know, this is the most promising set of tools because bureaucratic paperwork, you know, AIs actually are pretty darn good at, at reading and uh, processing uh, those kinds of things. So, you know, we're on the precipice of these AI breakthroughs, the reliability and uh, capabilities. You know, it's kind of an extension of what I worked on as a, ch a child, you know, personal computers, then internet, then cell phones, uh, and now AI. But it's because it's, it's super intelligence. Um, it's of a different character, and will it'll put us to the test on how we work together within the U.S. and how how countries work together. 